How's it going there, YouTube? This is Quinn, that snazzy iPhone guy, and this is the video review of the Blue Microphone's Icicle USB converter. Uh, for those of you that don't understand, and in layman's terms, this essentially takes any microphone and makes it a USB mic. Now, I'm careful to say any microphone because it does need to be an XLR mic, but 98% of microphones out there are XLR, so um, it's a pretty cool little device and it's significantly less than its competitors. Before we get into that, I'd like to let you know the price of it. It's $59.99 US dollars, and you can pick it up for $35 on Amazon. And you could even save on tax by shopping at the TSIG store. So if you do decide to pick this up, click the link below, go to the TSIG store, you save money, you make me money, it's a good combo. Now, if you notice off to the left here, I use the M Audio Fast Track Pro. Until I got the Icicle, this is what I use to convert my regular microphones into USB microphones. I went through this mixer and it has a preamp in there and it essentially allows you to take these mics and make them USB mics. Now, the great thing about this is USB mics are not really the best. I mean, I'm careful to say that because there are some good ones out there, but historically USB mics are pretty crappy. And until now, there hasn't really been a cheap way to convert an XLR mic to a USB one. This was pretty much the best value when I got this about two years ago. And this was and still is $200. So it isn't cheap. What this does is it takes the XLR mic and it outputs it via USB to your computer. Now, there's a bunch of great features that are on the M Audio Fast Track Pro that are not present in the Icicle. So I'm careful to say that this offers, uh, you know, any less than this because this does offer way less than this does. But a lot of this stuff is not necessary on the user end. Spdiff out, RCA out, uh, mono mixing, it, you really don't need 90% of this stuff on there if you're, you know, you're kind of average typical consumer. And so the Icicle is serving that market and it also serves the market of compatibility and size. If you can see that little item off to the left is very big, very inefficient, and it required drivers for my Macintosh. This is plug and play. No drivers necessary on Mac or PC. You plug it in, it shows up as a mic, and you are good to go. It's awesome. Now this is uh, a little bit on the cheapy feeling side. It's made out of plastic, which isn't a big deal. I usually don't bash on plastic because it's light, it's pretty durable, and it, you know I don't experience issues with it. But this one just feels cheap. Now I can't really say that because durability has been fine. I haven't experienced any build quality issues, but it is full plastic construction, which to me seems a little bit sketchy and it doesn't feel as high quality as it should. Granted for a $60 price tag and because it's made out of plastic, it's very light. And again, doesn't even, you know, there's nothing really in this class that offers the same quality for the same price. So, uh, I'm going to show you how it's set up and then we'll do some demonstrations here so you can sound how good, hear how good it sounds rather. You take the Icicle, you have your female XLR port here, you can take any microphone, uh, the Audix OM5, we'll take the Audio-Technica AT2020, this is a condenser mic and it's a 48 volt mic. It's uh, phantom powered which is great because this actually offers phantom power. So there's no external power source, it goes all through USB and you can use any mic through the icicle, which is great because I was fearing that it wouldn't work with my heavier duty microphones that required more voltage, but it does and you're good to go. So we got this, we got our mic. All you gotta do is take it and plug it in and we're set and ready to go. So it doesn't make it the best looking microphone, but it does offer functionality. Now right here, uh, you'll be able to see that there is a gain knob. That's the only knob that's really on the whole device. And uh, you know that's why the M Audio Fast Track Pro still outdoes it in a couple areas because this just doesn't offer all of the versatility that the M Audio Fast Track Pro does. But you have your gain and volume knob. One thing I'm sad to see that the Icicle doesn't have is a line out. That would be awesome because it wouldn't require USB to do everything. That's one thing I like about the M Audio Fast Track Pro. It's actually plugged into the wall, and I am using it to get the. Uh, blue spark which is a condenser microphone into my camera which is excellent because if there's a phantom powered mic you can't do that so I wish the icicle had a line out because right now you have to go through USB and without a computer this little bad boy is worthless but uh, if you take a peek on the bottom you'll see that there is a mini USB out all you got to do is take your mic stick the icicle in the middle and then you will take your uh, little USB cord and plug it in here 
and it's plug and play. You know, there's like I said, there's no drivers required, no work, no setup. You just go into your settings, select this as the active mic, and it will work. And so we're going to show you some demonstrations and some tests of this, and it takes any microphone and changes it into a USB mic. Before I leave you and before we do the test, this is an excellent value. It far surpasses the quality, uh, excuse, well, rather the sound of the more expensive items. It's on to par with my M Audio Fast Track Pro, which amazed me. I thought the audio quality wouldn't even be close, but it's identical and really maximizes the power of your microphone. There is phantom power, which is excellent, so you can use pretty much any mic, and I really cannot recommend this much more highly. The build quality is a little bit cheap, but for 60 bucks, nothing even parallels, and this is a beautiful, elegant, light, compact system. So let's get into those audio tests, and uh, yeah, I would say stay snazzy, but I'm not leaving, so let's do them. Here we go. All right, so this is the audio test of the Audio-Technica AT2020 using the Blue Microphones Icicle. And this is the audio test of the Audio-Technica AT2020 using the M-Audio Fast Track Pro. The sound, as you can tell, is about the same. All right, this is the test of the Audix OM5 using the Blue Microphones Icicle. And this is the audio test of the Audix OM5 using the M Audio Fast Track Pro. So as you can tell, they're about the same, once again. All right, so this is the last audio test with Blue Microphone's own Spark using the Blue Microphone Icicle. And this is the test using the Blue Microphone Spark with the M Audio Fast Track Pro. So again, the sound is about the same. So that'll do it for us, folks. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe, rate, comment. The Blue Icicle, pretty dang good product considering the price. And as always, stay snazzy. See you later, folks.